This episode's FDR shout out goes to these guys. Come on, man, you're really not gonna let me go, huh? Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shout out in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what's going on, Chers Nation? It's your boy Chris over here uh, with another Fish for Thought video. It's Monday, we're gonna start your Monday off just right. Start your week off with a blast with Fish Tank Review. You. you might be wondering where are the co-hosts one of the co-hosts i'm not going to say who don't want to offend anyone is quite sleepy most of the time and i don't want to you know make that co-host do things whenever i want i should leave it up to that co-host i mean if if they don't want to help they don't get paid the other co-host is super feisty sometimes just like now or busy playing around with other people <laughs> okay enough of an explanation it's time to get reviewing some tanks Check it out, Schmidt. I got you a clownfish. I don't want some janky freshwater bitch fish, Winston. I want a lionfish. Let's just cut through the crap, okay, Schmidt? We both know what you really want. Okay, one sec. Just in the first, like, five seconds of whatever the hell this show is. I, it's called New Girl. Apparently my girlfriend likes it. I don't know. I'm more of a man of culture myself Like I'll watch shows like attack on Titan. Maybe some demon slayer. I don't know about this new girl type stuff Okay, I just maybe the office parks and rec. Maybe I should give it a try But from the first five seconds of this episode, I don't I don't know about that man. You called it What did you call it? Um, the clownfish? It's a freshwater beef fish? <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. Toxic masculinity to the max. I know it's just a joke. Chill out, Chris. And then he's like, I want a lionfish. First of all, the clownfish, it's not freshwater, man. Even I know that. And I'm smooth brain as f Forget about it, man. There are plenty of other fish in the sea. Now, we have showcased a few aquarium co-op products here or there. You've seen Easy Green. You've seen the mug. You've seen the coaster. <laughs> but did you know that aquarium co-op now has pizza? You what? That's right. Aquarium Co-op, I think this is the Pepperoni uh, Tropical Fish Murphy version. It's the Fugu Puffer Fish, and I can't wait to try it. It smells delicious up in here. Man, I'm salivating. Just kidding. <laughs> can't believe I did that with a straight face. The first thing I saw when I saw this packaging is I've gotta, I've gotta do a pizza joke. It's actually their own stainless steel, beautiful, high quality aquarium scissors, curved. Oh man, Th this got some heft to it. This is not from Alibaba. This is not from AliExpress. It is high quality stainless steel. The quality is night and day between like a Amazon. I mean, look. Look at the sh <laughs> Wow, look at the shine, look at the sheen on that. There is a huge difference with this small curve because it allows you to get so many different angles in there. It's amazing. Really high quality, I'm really impressed. Oh man, this is like some Shang-Chi 10 rings shit right here. People who say goldfish don't live long. The result of winning four goldfish at a fair and allowing them to live in a 7,000 liter pond for 15 years. All averaging 30 centimeter from mouth to base of can, <laughs> base of caudal fin. I have fairly large hands. Bro, yeah, your hands are massive, my dude. See, these fish are straight up lucky. They were doomed. They were being sold or like, you know, auctioned off as prizes at a carnival. So there's really zero survivability that they're gonna make it through that night. But somehow there were prizes given to this absolute alpha male of a champion. 7,000 liter pond ready for them and they've been able to thrive for 15 years. Like these carp get massive and this is not even fully grown. Everyone take notes. If you have someone you know in your life that won a carnival fish and they're like, wow, it survived for a week. Show them this. Escapism.com submission by Anonymous Cactus. You are one talented cactus because this is a gorgeous tank. Simplicity with the lines of the wood and then the cross-sectional feel of a riverbed complete with river rocks with a species tank of red-eye tetra. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is phenomenal. You got the valisneria as well in the back. The hue of the light, it's not for everybody, but I think in this case, it's just right. So, you know what? Five out of five. That's amazing. Keep it up. Scientists about to name new fish. I'll call you the spike fish because you're tapered like a spike fish. Bite scientist. Bony-eared ass fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's been a few memes like this, but these always get me. I'm just imagining the scientists being like, hmm, 
Yes. Wow, a new species. Let's name it something that actually describes how you mother okay, you're you're an ass fish now. Your whole existence, your whole mere mortal existence is gonna be ridiculed till the end of time. Escapism submission by Dr. Fishy. My dude, that is some clean glass. That is a powerful light. Looks like a species tank of neon tetras. And you got some maybe Siamese algae or flying fox, maybe pencil fish, I'm not sure what that is. The Anubius Barteria look very healthy. This looks like a tank that is actually bigger than it seems. I'm willing to bet this is at least like 20 gallons even though it almost looks like it's like 5 to 10 gallon. This might be 20 to 30 gallon cube. Really beautiful. You've used the space quite adequately as well. 4.75 out of 5. Keep it up. Found this beauty in a Chinese restaurant. <sighs> Either have it be a wishing well with no fish or a fish well pond with no wishing please because ah uh, yes heavy metal poisoning indeed copper is extremely toxic for fish even more so than mercury you know how we're super scared of mercury poisoning all the time and they're switching out thermometers with mercury in them for more digital thermometers copper is much more toxic to fish than mercury so if we're worried about that Nisho Siwakoti, sorry, sent this tank in on escapism, a piece of wood that is just embedded throughout with bryophytes. I'm really digging it. Understocked for a pretty darn good sized tank. The surface area looks super clear, a lot of good aeration and water movement. 4.6 out of 5, keep it up. Boy, you guys are getting high scores today. The product's picture literally says not for fish. That's actually very respectable. I don't see this often. Like, there's actually a sign that says don't put fish in here. Literally Really my favorite thing in the world right now. I mean, props to the seller for at least saying that it is not suitable for fish. <laughs> Bro, there was an anti-fish label on it. <laughs> Literally my favorite thing in the world right now. What? Fish abuse? The bonus secret comment of this episode is pothos. Escapism submission by Chandro Mohan Nayek. Damn, I'm sorry, man. But dude, you have an interesting tank. What is that carpet, dude? That carpet looks like wisteria. How the heck did it work? That looks pretty darn insane. And you got some giant vallus. It's showing a little bit of yellowing and browning. You probably trimmed it back a little too much this time. Maybe let it grow out a bit more. I love the textures. I love that interesting plant you chose for a carpet. If it's not water wisteria, please let me know what the heck that is. 4.45 out of 5. Keep it up. We were on the verge of greatness. To love the transition of nature. Enjoy trial and error. Learn from failure. Take your time. How are you gonna be like that meaningful and stuff to have some value in your post, but then you end up looking goofy as all heck? Then I noticed that wasn't a tiger lotus leaf. Honestly, now that you mentioned tiger lotus leaf, I would say there's a 20% chance that is a tiger lotus leaf. Hey man, one can hope. This tank is sent in by Maya Kesh. Yep. I don't know. It's like. The less I can say your name, the better your submission is for some reason. Because this tank is clean. Pothos in the back, simplistic light that gets the job done. You got a bit of a grassy carpet going on, little bits of wood, very naturally placed, if I do say so myself, with bryophytic plants attached, nutrient-rich substrate, and one single bed of fish, a short fin at that. Looks beautiful, looks very healthy. Props to you, man. This is simple oh you got some floaters up top as well yeah simple and effective and keeping your bed of fish very clearly happy 4.5 out of 5 keep it up why not throw in a few arapaima while you're at it ah the bashir substrate i mean come on it's been too long right can never go too long without reviewing one of these classic i am selling around 30 bashirs with 190 gallon acry acry <laughs> acrylic tank and stand for 1500 dollars. i have no more time to take care of them you you never had time it seems uh, i want to sell them as a whole thanks you did no research from the beginning, had no time for this kind of crap at all, just kept buying Bashirs or any work on the tank, it's just a bare bottom. I'm pretty sure the substrate, what little substrate in there was just you dumping the Bashirs in and there was some substrate left over from wherever you got the Bashirs from. There was zero effort. And two days later after getting this contraption, you're like, huh, maybe I don't like keeping fish. Time to pass it on. I don't have time for this anymore. Mmm, piss water. Drink it. Only if you drink it with me. All great things come at a cost. Agreed. Make the tank owner drink it. The comment that makes the most sense. Don't you love Reddit? Me. My aquarium. Snails. Our aquarium. It's true. You get one of these bladder snails, it's all over. It's not just your aquarium anymore, trust me. They do what they please. This is the worst I've seen in a hot minute. 
Oh, oh shoot, I would not have seen that. I just thought it was just like a crown tail in a very small bowl. And then you see the female. Not to mention the sharpest shell I've ever seen. It's like setting these pets up for failure. Just see how long they can last in this tank without dying. Nobody wants that. Why would you think this is okay? Look at how stressed the female is. It's so stressed that it doesn't even have the energy left to make stress marks. That's how stressed it is. Hey guys, welcome back to the end of the video. Wow, that was something else. Hopefully just the right amount of sarcasm injected straight into your bloodstream by yours truly. The secret comment of this episode is Bashir. Go look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. Try to make a cool little sentence with it. And thank you guys for staying all the way till the end to push that algorithm supporting this channel. If you enjoyed this week's FDR, please smash that like button and subscribe because there'll be more to come. Don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, carry my fin rod from Carisiformes to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.